Frank, the handicap system in golf really is the great equalizer, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sport like it. I can't imagine going to Wimbledon and playing, you know, sort of uh, Djokovic or Federer or, you know, playing NFL with Peyton Manning. But, you know, the, the beauty of golf, we can go out in a golf course, we decide uh, what our handicaps are on the first tee, we decide who's going to get strokes, and then off you go and play, and you play on a level playing field. Wow, what a shot. Doesn't even need the putt. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. It is a windy day out here, Frank. My hat just blew off. This is going to affect the player's shots, that's for sure. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Your strike, good result. Right, and that is close. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Great, too. Beautiful. Now at the 12th, and Frank, when you put the peg in the ground here, are you licking your chops? Well, you are, unless you're playing into a head breeze. Because if you are playing a head breeze, then you've got to worry about the four bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway. Um, touch a help, or if you're a long hitter, then all you've got to do is worry about that little pot bunker just short of this green. There is gorse left and right. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still will have a play from there. Second shot from the rough, it's on the way. Frank, how about the bunkers here at 13? A, a rather ominous sounding name. Yeah, the coffins, and uh, they are that for a reason. If you finish up in there, well, the best you'll probably ever do is make a bogey, unless you're an absolute genius. Uh, that'll be avoided, certainly off the tee. If you do, it's still a difficult hole. The second shot, unless you had a perfect tee shot, will be blind. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Frank, this really is a remarkable turn of events, considering that earlier we had pretty much written them off. Well, we had, and for good reason, too. It was not playing well. Um, it looked like it, it, the round was going to continue to go in that direction. But somehow, and believe me, I don't know how, he's just completely turned this round around. Oh, just making a mockery of the field now. Another eagle.
Frank, you can actually play this 14th hole by taking a detour to another hole on the front side. Explain. Yeah, that's the fourth hole. The fourth hole is adjacent to the 14th, and if you're in a little bit of trouble off the tee, there's nothing wrong with playing the 14th as a zigzag style par five. So that means the drive, if it doesn't go down the right, you go further left and then back to the green. But uh, it's a safer way, but a much longer option. I knew it right away. Picked up the tee, didn't even look at it. We can see it. It's perfect right down the middle of the fairway. This becomes a different kind of battle out there today with these strong, gusty winds. Players will have to think, they'll have to take extra club, and this will not be easy. Perfect, and in the hole, what a shot. Back here at the 15th, and Frank, this fairway narrows up in a hurry. And it's also, uh, it, there's a big crop of heather that sort of constrains you if you're going to hit it just straight down the middle. Only the brave go down the right side. Um, it brings in those little bunkers called robs, and uh, they'll rob your scorecard, that's for sure. Come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. Second shot. Good look at the green. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. If you hit enough shots, every now and again, one's going to go in. Crazy, crazy game. And now another par for the 16th, Frank, and another hole where precision off the tee is going to be paramount. Yeah, the norm, the, the norm off the tee is really to avoid a series of three bunkers called the principal's nose. I've never really figured out why they're called that, but it's not the place to be, that's for sure. Uh, stay short of those is the safe line, and then a little pop bunker once again in the front left of the screen called the wig. It's also to be avoided. Another difficult green. Looks a little simpler from the fairway, but miss your mark with the yardage, and you'll pay a premium. That was nuclear. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight.
the 17th tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight and the history of the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well, because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out of bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short, you find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out of bounds or on the road itself. Headed for home now with a royal and ancient behind the green, a chance to cross the Swilkin Bridge, just as Jack Nicklaus did, as Arnold Palmer did, as so many of the legends of the sport have done. This is a special place in the game. I mean, that is a sight to behold. What a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive in one. into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. He'll need to be strong with this. Without a doubt, that will be on the highlight reel later tonight. Excellent shot. That has to feel so good. A big championship victory. Frank, here at the 18th, so much history has been made through the years. Yeah, one of my uh, favorite memories, um, I remember you know, Jack Nicklaus when he beat Doug Sanders in that playoff. Um, you know, the famous sort of short putt that Doug Sanders missed, but really the great moment that stands out was Seve making that 15-footer across the hill in 1984 wearing the blue sweater. Not only did he win the Open Championship, but he beat a tremendous field that included Bernard Langer, Tom Watson, Fred Couples, Lanny Watkins, Faldo, and Greg Norman. It was an amazing Open Championship. And I love that fist pump. It was pure Seve. All that fire, all that passion came flying out. And that's where you just sort of fell in love with the game. 